welcome to this model in this model i gonna speak about antenna gain and efficiency the term antenna gain describes how much power is transmitted in the direction of peak radiation to that of a isotropic source antenna gain is more commonly quoted than directivity in an antenna specification sheet because it takes into account the actual losses that occur a transmitting antenna with a gain of 3 db means that the power received for from the antenna will be 3 db higher than what would be received from a lossless isotropic antenna with the same input power i know that a lossless antenna would be an antenna with an antenna efficiency of 0 db that is 100% similarly a receiving antenna with a gain of 3 db in a particular direction would receive 3 db more power than a lossless isotropic antenna antenna gain is sometimes uh, mentioned as a function of angle in this case uh, we'll be plotting a radiation pattern where the units that is the magnitude of patterns are measured in antenna gain and um, the gain how are the more of a more of a single number is quoted the gain and that is the peak gain over all directions antenna gain can be related to directivity as and efficiency by g is equal to epsilon r into d right so the gain of real antenna can be as high as 40 to 50 db for very high large dish antennas and uh, directivity can be as low as 1.76 db for a real antenna for example short dipole antenna but can never theoretically be less than 0 db however the peak gain of the antenna can be arbitrarily low because of losses and a low efficiency electrically small antennas can be very inefficient with antenna gains lower than 10 db often manufacturers of antenna uh, specify the antenna gain for by the wifi antennas gps antenna tv antennas whatever it is for instance manufacturers of wifi antennas may market the wifi antenna as a high gain antenna which is more expensive than a similar low gain antenna the question is do we want high gain yes. the answer is it depends if you know exactly where your desired signal is coming from you would like to have maximum gain or direction towards the desired direction however if you don't know where the desired signal will be coming from it is better to have a low gain antenna a couple of example make, make this like for, for example i'll take first example as tv antennas okay if you mount a tv antenna on your roof and know the tv broadcast antennas are to the south for example on some hill south of the city then it is to prefer and then it is preferred to have a high gain antenna antennas with a gain of at least 12 to 15 db are preferred right uh, let me take an another example that is gps global positioning system gps antennas for mobile devices uh, are receive only so the job of gps antenna is to triangulate your position by measuring the received signal from multiple gps satellites which are all in different directions related to the receive antenna for this case a very high directional antenna would not be preferred and let me take another example a mobile cellular antenna the cellular antenna on your smartphone communicates with a single cellular network tower however the cellular antenna can be held in any orientation and can be in any position relative to the network tower so hence uh, the for your mobile device it is preferred to have a low gain antenna and if you look at the specification sheet of an antenna you will typically see units of antenna gain listed in db dbi and dba dbd now i'll define the these terms uh, db means decibels uh, that is 10 db means 10 times the energy relative to an isotropic antenna in the peak uh, direction of radiation right dbi means uh, decibels relative to the isotropic antenna this is same as db and uh, 3 dbi means twice the power relative to the isotropic antenna in the peak direction and dbd is the decibel relative to dipole antenna and know that half wavelength dipole antenna has a gain of 2.15 dbi and hence what 7.85 dbd means the peak gain is 7.85 db higher than the dipole antenna and this is 10 db higher than the isotropic antenna right and the resistive losses due to non im non im non perfect metals and dielectric materials exist in all practical antennas such losses result in difference between the power delivered to the input of the antenna and the power radiated by the antenna the radiation efficiency of an antenna is defined as the ratio of the desired output power to the 
supplied input part. So eta radians is equal to P radians by P in which can be written as P in minus P losses by P in is equal to 1 minus P loss by P in. Where P radians is the power radiated by the antenna and P in is the power supplied to the input of the antenna and P loss is the power lost in the antenna. And the other two factors which cause the loss of transmit power are impedance mismatch at the input of the antenna and polarization mismatch of the uh, receive antenna. Okay. So in electromagnetics, the antenna's power gain or simply gain is the key performance number which combines the antenna's directivity and electrical efficiency. So in a transmitting antenna, the gain describes how well the antenna converts the input power into radiate waves headed in spe uh, specified direction. So in a receiving antenna, the gain describes how well the antenna converts the radio waves arriving from a specific direction into electric power. When no direction is specified, gain is understood to refer to the peak value of the gain and the gain in the direction of the antenna's main low. And a plot of the gain as a function of direction is called gain pattern or radiation pattern. Okay. And antenna gain is usually defined as the ratio of power produced by the antenna for a field, for field source on the antenna's beam axis to the power produced by the hypothetical losses of that is lossless isotropic antenna which is equally sensitive to signals from all directions. So using this ratio is expressed in decibels and these units are referred to as decibel isotropy that is DBI as I said earlier. And directive gain or directivity is a different uh, measure which doesn't take an, uh, take an antenna's electrical efficiency into account. The term is sometimes more relevant in the case of receiving antenna where one is concerned mainly with the ability of antenna to receive signals from one direction while rejecting interfering signals coming from different direction. However, these losses are external to the antenna and could be eliminated by the proper use of matching networks or the proper choice and positioning of the receiving antenna. So antenna directivity is a function of only the shape of the radiation pattern of antenna and is not affected by losses in the antenna itself. Antenna gain is a product of directivity and efficiency said earlier. G is equal to eta radians into D and uh, the gain is always less than or equal to directivity. Gain can also be computed directly by replacing P radians in the denominator with P in. And since by the definition the radiation efficiency, we have P radians is equal to eta radians into P in. So gain is usually expressed in GB, that is 10 log of G. Sometimes the effect of impedance mismatch is uh, losses included in the gain of the antenna and this is referred to as the realized gain. Okay. And the beam area is a solid angle through which all the power radiated by the antenna would stream if P of theta comma phi maintained in the maximum value over omega A and was zero elsewhere. Thus the power radiated is equal to P of theta comma phi into omega A. The beam area of an antenna can be described approximately in terms of angles subtended by the half power points. And beam efficiency is the uh, ratio of the beam area to the uh, total, total beam area that is ca called as beam efficiency. So beam efficiency is equal to omega M by omega A where omega A is equal to omega capital M plus omega small m. The ratio of minor lobe uh, to the total beam area is called stray factor. So that is uh, omega small m divided by omega a is the stray factor. And the directivity from pattern can be written as p of theta comma phi max divided by p of uh, theta comma phi average. So the directivity is a dimensional uh, ratio which is always less than 1. The gain of an antenna is an actual real or realized quantity which is less than directivity due to ohmic losses in the antenna or its radom that is if it is enclosed. In transmitting these losses involve power fed to the antenna which is not radiated but heats the antenna structure. A mismatch in feeding the antenna can also reduce the gain. The ratio of the gain to the directivity is the antenna efficiency factor. So G is equal to K into D where K is the efficiency factor. It is also dimensionless. The value of K lies between 0 and 1. And gain can be measured by comparing the maximum power density of the antenna under test with a reference antenna of known gain such as short pole. Thus gain is equal to P max of AUT divided by P max of reference antenna into G of reference antenna. So if the half power beam width of the antenna are known, its directivity is approximately 41,253 degree divided by theta HP into phi HP. Okay. And uh, if the antenna has a maximum half power beam width, uh, 
then in bo both principal plants its directivity is approximately 100 or 20 dBi. So if the antenna has main low with po both half power beam width uh, that is equal to 20 degree, its directivity is approximately 1 or 3, it is also nearly equal to 20 dBi. Which means that the antenna radiates a power in the direction of the maximum low, the main low maximum which is about 100 times as much as would be radiated by a non-directional that is isotropic antenna for the same point. Thank you.